I, I can't believe I'm coming on so late, but um, I put, oh look, I washed my hair today. <laughs> It's all sticking out everywhere. Okay, hope you're all all right. Um, I think live at the moment. I was just brushing up that I'm live. So good afternoon, everybody. Afternoon. Cup of tea time in my Disney mug today. <laughs> right, I'm just going to wait a few seconds um, to wait to see if anyone's going to join us. And once again, um, my... <laughs> Video just keeps flashing over the same picture time and time again, so I don't understand what's going on. But I'm just going to go for it because I played it back the last couple of days and it seems to be fine. So hey ho, right? I mean, if I was doing this at night, hippie cider, I'd be drinking. <laughs> okay, I know I've just had a re replay of me scratching my nose, scratching my nose, scratching my nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some luckless poor devil has just joined me. Hello, whoever. Oh, I've got two people join me now. No, I have no idea who you are. Okay, first of all, apologies for not coming on round about 12, 12, 15 like I normally do. But my amazing friend Holly Charles does a tea and tarot class. And so I think I'm going to be shifting my live back a bit um because holly charles is the most amazing person she is so knowledgeable so intuitive um so yeah just just an amazing person oh you're going shopping are you Stephen? oh you couldn't get me some crisps could you i'm a bit fed up with twiglets <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh and uh, and i'm gutted that no one's been leaving stuff on my doorstep for the last couple of days i even the postman hasn't left me a bill so i'm feeling very unloved at the moment so <laughs> you can always catch me on um on uh, on replay steve and i'll kiss you, kiss you now okay have fun with your shopping don't spend too much money <laughs> <laughs> oh yes as i was saying about my wonderful holly holly charles um she's an amazing tarot reader intuitive um yeah, yeah she's just amazing and on a tuesday um she started running a tea and tarot class <laughs> and i used to join her in cardiff face to face but of course now i'm living in northampton it's a little bit of a long way to go just for a couple of hours so um so we're not quite sure how that so she's now at the moment with this um uh the virus she's actually doing it online at the moment she goes live and we can join in so um we were doing the second half of the major car today um yes i know i'm a reader but everyone um, who is a reader and everyone has so many different ways of teaching and so many different views on the different cards that are there. It's lovely to connect with other people and to hear their interpretation and connect with like minded people. So, yes, yeah, so that's where I was this morning, a quarter past 11 um, to about or oh, just before just after one o'clock. So it was a long session. Loved every minute of it. Um, and then. <laughs> And then, of course, I wanted some lunch. Yes, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I do eat better. Than, I do eat lunch. I don't always eat crisps and chocolates and <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, dear. So the title of the thing is uh, I can't even open. Trouble when you, when you wash your hair, it goes all fly away and it tickles. And I hate, hate that. So, you know, it's nice to have greasy hair. Because at least it stays still. They say, right, <laughs> title of the video today is aimed at Nicola with us, <laughs> who does the sensey stuff. Now, I have briefly mentioned um, sensey in the past. My lovely friend Nicola, um, she's, oh, she's really lovely and sweet. And I don't know how she puts up with me. <laughs> she and Susan in the village, Bugbrook. <laughs> I don't know how you put up with me. But Nicola for her sins. <laughs> Sorry, Nicola. I'm going to tag you in this and then you can have a go at me later. Sell so Sensi. Now, Sensi are um, uh, bar waxes which you, you put in your burners. Well, they're not burners, heaters. And they melt the wax down and the room smells lovely. I mean, I've got enough here at the moment to um, make a sh sell them on a shop, you know. But they don't just do waxes, they do other things. And they do. 
and watches. This one I've got here is pink promegranate. No, promenade. Pink promenade. Okay. And I've got Luna. Now, I usually, um, I don't know. Oh, yes, I had some um, sense boxes and, and these came in the sense boxes. If you want to know anything about sense boxes and sensey, I'll put Nicola's link um, because she's very, very knowledgeable about all the stuff that you can buy for, for sensey. And she is still, even though we're not meant, you know, she's, she is still doing her online business. And I think at this time, it is very, very important for us, if any of us know um, who or, of anyone else who runs little businesses like Sensi or Body Shop or, um, you know, Neil Yards, um, Neil Remedies Yards or what they call it, the aromatherapy. But anyone who, you know, who runs these little businesses or anyone who has run their own business and they're now having to go online, such as me, having <laughs> try and um, support them at this time of their need um, because yes so often we you know rely on on our customers coming to us but of course being an aromatherapist and uh, a hands-on healer is happening at the moment so um, to try and keep the bank manager happy we're having to do different things so that's why I'm sort of pushing trying to push my tarot light readings online um, so and so a lot of these girls like Nicola and Katie, um, who does Body Shop and, uh, do you know, my brain isn't working this morning. Um, maybe it's two o'clock, it's G&T G time. <laughs> to get my and uh, <clears throat> so it's very important, I think, that we try and help and support these um, people who are working on their own and got their own business. Um, and uh, yes, because people like that aren't getting the help aren't getting the help from the government, regardless of what they say. So back to this coin. <laughs> a bottle of, a bottle of hand wash. I've completely lost it. Oh gosh, you know what, if we weren't living on our own on Unshutdown, I think I'd get my daughter to come and live with me. Because when I lived with her in Cardiff, she did everything. We reverted to, Anna was the, the mother and I was the daughter. I'm just so useless. And incompetent can't even open and wash now the instructions oh this has got nicola's name on i'm going to take this off nicola so this but i'll, I'll um, put a link to nicola right as most hand washes i don't know whether you're going to see this it has an arrow close open so yesterday <laughs> my um neil yard's remedy hand wash ran out i had actually put some water in it to try and make it go a bit further <laughs> and rinse it out so i get every ounce of my money's worth and i always do that with with the things because when it gets very low i put a tiny bit of water in show you know, to finish it all off i'm one of those people you know with <laughs> the toothpaste really screw and then i rip open it get more toothpaste get my money's worth can't afford to waste things so uh, there I am. trying and it says open so it's twisting and you know when you open things when you open it it's meant to pop up okay so i was going round and round and round and this one so then i thought well, maybe i've opened it enough so i then started trying to pump it be careful in case it's got some stuff in it and I, and it wasn't going down it was only going down about a millimeter and i was thinking oh i'm not going to do that because i can see pink coming out so i'm going to pump this too much because it's not actually open so it was like i'm twisting it it's not popping up oh maybe i've got a faulty one. Oh well i'm going to put it on one i'll go and get the other so i started off with the um lunar one couldn't do that one so I then thought, oh, well, maybe that's faulty. Oh, shucks. So I got this one, took all the plastic packaging off. <laughs> Nigh on impossible to open the plastic packaging. <laughs> it had been well and truly sealed on. And in fact, I've still got half of it on because I can't. Yeah. But um, <laughs> and I couldn't open that one either. And it was like twisting. And all I did was twist. <laughs> Sorry, I swore there. So sorry for any kids who are watching. So I did just twisting, and all I did was undo it. So in the end, it was like oh, God. 
So luckily, I had another um, Neil Yard's Remedy hand wash. So I managed to open that, you know, you, you twist it once and, and it pops up. So I thought, well, I am doing it right. So <laughs> I text Nicola and said, I have a small technical hitch. Can't open any of your hand washes. <laughs> and she texted me back and said, have you removed the little plastic collar? I went, what plastic collar? Look. This little plastic collar, which they put on all these bottles. So when they're in transit, it stops it working. Do lally, do lally. <laughs> it's a good off. The other one went, Chew! and I'm wash went everywhere. So anyone who buys Sensi hand wash, I'm now going to do a brief advertisement on behalf of Nicola. Because she forgot and she goes, sorry, I forget to tell all my customers. When you buy a net Sensi hand wash, remember to take the safety valve off, collar off. And then it will work straight off. I'm useless. I need someone. I'm not going to say I need a man because uh, I'm not that incompetent. Sorry, gentlemen. <laughs> but I, I just I just can't cope. I mean, I've got pictures here. Um, Brian Murphy. <laughs> that are desperate to go up because I haven't got any nails or hammer. Because I, as I so, said yesterday, I mentioned about Tony Jensen, my old neighbour, who was called the B&Q guy next door. Whenever I wanted anything or needed anything, I just go next door to him and go, hi, Tony B&Q. Other hardware sh shops also available. <laughs> but we just call him B&Q because there's not homeware. I, I don't know, home base and stuff. There's there's other places. But, um, you know, B&Q. So we call him the B&Q guy because he's got this garage. And in his garage, most people have cars. He's got <laughs> shelves and shelves of tools and nails and wood and bulbs and fuses and wires and it's like an Aladdin's cave. And I'd go around there and he'd go, what do you need? So I'd go, oh, the fuse is gone in my fuse box. We're all in darkness and the kids need their internet help. And you come around and go, well, come on. And bless him, he come and do it because he knew it was bloody useless. And you go, oh, your light doesn't work. Let me change the light. Well, he's very tall anyway. Let me change the light bulb for you. Seems me trying to climb on a chair and falling over. So lovely Tony, I'm gonna <laughs> And so I've got I've got nothing here in this flat. So I've got some pet pictures to be hung up. So um but of course I can't invite anyone in because of the virus, so they're gonna have to stay down. Um <laughs> until the virus is over and then I'm gonna invite let lovely um Bra Murphy over with his hammer and nail. Because <laughs> if I go and do it, I'm bound to put a nail through the water pipe. Or an electric wire or something. <laughs> DIY is not my forte. <laughs> oh, trust me, it's not my forte. <laughs> I don't even want to go there. I mean, I'm one of those, right? I remember um, when my ex left. So I decided in the house um, I was going to put my own mark on it. And we'd, <laughs> in, the, in the house, we'd pay, don't ask. We'd painted the ceiling terracotta. It did look quite nice, actually. It made the room look all small and cosy because it was a massive big room. There was a a, a reason behind the madness. Um, but then when he went, it was like, yes, I can get all my spiritual stuff. So we decided to paint the ceiling white and the walls white and put the stuff up and decorate the chairs with old purple throws, you know, to bring all the spiritual side in and get all my angels and up regardless of whether the kids were interested in. but actually it looked very really relaxing and calming and uh, so I'm there having <laughs> painting the ceiling I think I've got more paint on me so I got this pot you get the big pot of white paint yes it was white well I don't think it was magnolia magnolia is from the 70s and 80s tip the white paint into the roller box so the box is like that but tipped in there and then you got the roller and then you do it okay right so <laughs> i go up the ladder and i've got this in one hand like this so a bit lower so you can see what i'm doing 
But he said I had it higher up. And then I saw lean. <laughs> but instead of me leaning, <laughs> I kept leaning. <laughs> and then <laughs> I was thinking, you know, rather than these people, you know, you do a little inch, get down, move the ladder, do another little tiny bit, move the ladder. I go up the ladder and stretch as far as I can go. I just didn't. I, did, I was sensible enough to put sheeting on the floor, but the number of times I fell off the ladder and paint everywhere. So do not let me anywhere near DIY painting, electricity, water. I am not a DIY person. And so my ex, bless his cotton socks, he was really good at DIY. I didn't realise how much he'd done around the house until he abandoned me. This is probably why he abandoned me, because I'm mad, Julie. Who <laughs> wants to live with me? This is why I'm a solo person. I'm a lost cause. <laughs> okay, today's treat. Oh, I need a slurp of my tea. Oh, today's mug. Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Oh, I am so... I'm going to tag Disney in. And I really hope that he spirals when I... Because... <laughs> oh. So, someone's just messaging me. Oh, that was Holly. Um, so... <laughs> so yeah um <laughs> yes i'm going to mention disney each time and everyone if you can make this go uh, viral not vinyl <laughs> kids who weren't born in the 70s 80s do not understand the word vinyl do not know what vinyl is do not know about record players with <laughs> because i had a record player you didn't even do it automatically you had to move it on and you go like, which track do I want? And then when it got to the centre, it just went boom, 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 boom. And even if you mentioned cassette tapes, you know, the cassette tapes where if you had a pencil, <laughs> this is going back a few, a few years. So, yeah, so this Disney mug today and uh, going <laughs> to, because I'm hoping when this is all over next year, I think there's eight of us going to go to Disney. <laughs> Stacey, fiancé, not girlfriend. And Henry are getting married in July. Well, we hope they are going to get married. If, as far as if we're still stuck inside, we're going to have a major problem. I'd love to take them on to Florida for our honeymoon. And be like eight of us going. Yeah, we're going to join them on their honeymoon because that's what the Kings and the Thompsons do. Go on, Mass. So I'm hoping if I mention this enough, maybe Disney will pay for us. <laughs> it's going to cost a fortune. Hi, Holly. Oh, Holly, I mentioned you right at the beginning saying how amazing this morning was. It was really, really good. I learned so much. <laughs> oh, dear. So, so you've had some nice, probably why 10 minutes ago your ears were burning, Holly. <laughs> <laughs> so yes so this is my disney mug today slurper tea my treat for today other chocolate bars also available and other makes of chocolate also available mars duo yes i went for the duo today because i felt i needed double the treat <laughs> So, yes, double the treat. Um, so, at four o'clock this afternoon, because I'm having my cup of tea now, because I've just had lunch, homemade uh, mushroom and garlic soup. Um, and this time I didn't put any peppers in. <laughs> so, I mean, it's chilies, because the last few times I've been pushing, and it's just too hot. So, so um, at four o'clock, you're more than welcome, Holly. And when this is over, Susan and I are going to be popping down and visiting you, because um, we were doing that this June. <laughs> not happened so yes we'll be visiting you in in, in um when, when we're allowed out so mars duo because i'm twice as nice and i deserve twice the treat <laughs> oh god completely lost it i'm not yes now next to me 
yesterday when I was on, I was telling you all about the books. <laughs> what I've done. And I'm just throwing on the floor because. <laughs> yesterday, I had next to me. I had all the books, and I've moved them back to the table. And I've. I don't know if you can see. Um, and they're now in a in a specific order of me to read when I get round to it. But here, I don't know if you can see. A box and some boxes of cards. Because tonight at seven thirty, I had this really stupid idea of going on healing hands and offer people free readings. It's just going to be one card readings. So. The idea is, you know, I go, can you do a reading for me, Julie? So I think, right, which set am I drawn to? I should be back this, but I think there was some brandy in this tea. <laughs> and so I'll go, which one am I drawn to? Am I drawn to the animals? Am I drawn to my angel cards? Or um, maybe even Holly, I might even be drawn to my tarot cards these are my tarot cards which we were working on i've got three packs i've got the original wider weight i've got dragon cards and and an angel tarot um so then i go which one i'm drawn to well i pick these up so then i shuffle these and say say holly asked me for a reading <laughs> no don't ever ask me for a reading why because it won't be as good as your standard <laughs> so so i'm just gonna i hope holly doesn't mind um, drawing into Holly's. See, I can be sensible for about five seconds. And the card I have pulled for Holly is Wolf, Guardian. You are safe and protected at all times. But this is Guardian. I'm getting to that because you seem to be my guardian and a lot of spiritual guides, guardians, and your guardian and you're guiding us. And you are always safe and protected at all times. And this is to remind us all that we're safe and protected. And, of course, the mother wolf, she protects her pack. Um, and so she is a strong guardian. And, of course, the wolf is very spiritual animal. And uh, Holly is very spiritual. And just to remind you that you are safe at all times and you are protected. And the spirits are watching over you. Um, then if this was a tea and tarot online class, we would then be going deeper into the class. This is not tea and tarot with Holly. And this isn't tonight. This is now. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing tonight. So on Healing Hand Services, but I'll be going live as Julie King because um, I'm hoping it will then flash up on my thing. Come along and join me. I'll pull a card for you all, for each person who comes on and would like a card. And if there's only one person, you might end up with a whole reading. <laughs> but I've got all sorts here. What have I got today? I've got messages from your angels, saints and angels. Oh, my goddess guidance cards. They're lovely, very feminine. Um, I've got my Archangel Michael cards. As you know, I love working with Archangel Michael. And I've got my Archangel Raphael healing cards. Um, I've got a few more here. Um, Oh, if anyone wants an empowering affirmation card, I've got those today as well. But I've got loads. I'm going to just have a whole load of piles of cards next to me. And I'm just going to throw it up to the universe, channel into the universe and see what happens. So feel free to join me between 7.30 and 9 on Healing and Services. Um, that will be, um, I'll be going live on Reiki Teddy at the clock tonight. Reiki Teddy, da, 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 da. did any of you catch on Saturday my day in life with Reiki Teddy? I completely lost it. I was so, I didn't know what to do. You know, you have one of those days. What should I do? I know. It's the day in the life of Reiki Teddy. Showed him getting up in the morning. <laughs> Watching, what was it, yoga with Arlene. <laughs> then he had his bath. Then he had his lunch of honey. Because it's only pears from darkest Peru that eat marmalade sandwiches. <laughs> My need honey. And then we did afternoon <laughs> meditation in the healing room. That was really good, actually. We're going to do some more of that on Reiki Teddy, um, because I had some really good feedback on that one, where I did the small meditation with you all, with Reiki Teddy. So being <laughs> sensible. And it was about the only time during the day that I was really sensible. And I actually shut up for about three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because <laughs> I went, and now I'm going to go quiet so you can meditate quietly. How I managed to keep quiet for three minutes, I have no idea. I did keep moving the camera around to give myself something to do, and I kept going, don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to give everyone some quiet to meditate. And so I've got to figure that one out. Zipper, zipper. <laughs> so we did a day and night. And then in the evening, we landed up with um, good time, um, good night, and <laughs> sleep to meet with the bears. And I squashed them all with lavender. I told you it was completely mad. But yes, Reiki Teddy, I'm going live at six o'clock-ish tonight and I'll be announcing a special offer on white teddies. Be just on white teddies, there's a special offer going going to be announced tonight. So if you know anyone who is into Reiki Teddy or wants a Reiki Teddy and fancy a white one <coughs> um, rather than a brown, <laughs> um, so um, that'll be on there. Um, and also tomorrow night at eight o'clock um, on Healing Hands. So, oh no, I tell a lie. On the Northampton Reiki and meditation site at eight o'clock tomorrow night is the meditation, um, and uh, but I'll be mentioning that to you all yet, uh, tomorrow just as a reminder. So let's see. Oh, Holly, this is just talking away at me. You're welcome, Holly. <laughs> oh, I've got tingles all over. I hope that helped, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you used to do that on Facebook page, Holly? Yeah. And thank you for being a sporter and allowing me to do that little miniature eating for you. And I hope it wasn't um because you meant to ask permission first and I just did it, so I'm really sorry. So I broke rule number one. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm not funny. Okay, so <laughs> we've talked about the mug. I can mention Disney. Other mugs also available, like my angel mug and my dragon mug and my sad one. I've mentioned my chocolate bar, my treat for the day. Other chocolate bars also available. <laughs> the main thing, how not to open. Hand wash. <laughs> oh, God, I can talk for hours about all my DIY accidents, but I'm going to do that today. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so for once this is going to be a short live because um, my whole day has been too lullied. Because <laughs> normally, as you know, I sort of come on live about 12 and then I sort of go and do my meditating at 2. Um, so, um, so my whole day is out. And of course, I've got two lots of lives today because um, as I said, I'm trying to push my business. <laughs> my bank manager ain't very happy with me at the moment. <laughs> so I'm spending a lot of time trying to promote my business. So if you know anyone who wants to help Mad Julie, <laughs> I'll be ever so grateful. Oh dear, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful blue sky out there. It's lovely out there. Well, I think it is. Because <laughs> you know I'm sure. This was this week four. I think I'm starting to be in. I have gone out a couple of times, like to the chemist, and felt terribly guilty. And and I think I'm now becoming um a bit of a cost cost claustrophobic because as soon as I go out, I feel I need to come in again. So that's not good. That's not good. So um, but because of um Joey, and that's now one of those people who's stuck inside for twelve weeks. <laughs> okay shout out to all my mates no one's been visiting me for the last few days because usually i find strange things on my doorstep so as they go walking and they pass my street, things get left on my doorstep like bottles of wine easter eggs punches of bananas you see, my friends are as mad as me. And then I throw things out of the window at them, like if Stephen came the other day and I threw him. Oh, so I threw a bag of twiglets at Stephen out the window. I'm retreating. Was it the other day we did, um, I did a read and we pulled the child card. 
cards. <laughs> oh, the enchantment. That was the enchantment card we pulled. And uh, <laughs> and I think I'm reverting to my childhood, throwing things at my mates. I mean, who would have thought that I was um, near, <laughs> nearing my 60th? I don't feel it. Actually, earlier I just thought, you know, I don't feel like 58. I think I'm about 22, 23. I've got mentality age of a two-year-old. It's ancient. I need to worry about <laughs> Yes, Kevin, when I'm sensible and it goes quiet, when I go quiet meditating, that's when you got to worry. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Card for the collective. Card for the collective. Card for the collective. You see, I can be serious. Actually, Kevin, when I go ghost hunting, when we actually doing the ghost hunting bit, I am serious and sensible. But then we go back and go on our, our breaks. I've been on a ghost hunt with Kevin to um, Drake Low Tunnels, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, Kevin's one of my um, spiritual psychic Ghost investigator mates. All oh, right, okay. This is just flipped over. Study. What do we need to study? Um, study on how the world is going at the moment. Um, study all the facts. Um, yes, there's a lot of false information going on at the moment. Um, God, I can't even think what it is. I've just noticed there's a guy on the roof over the road again. But once again, he's got his shirt on. If he had his shirt off, I'd be open the window going. <whistles> oh, he's rather hunky, though. Oh, he's just popped down because he suddenly realised I'm watching it. Oh, you know, he's standing up again. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Study. <laughs> right. You see, laughing raises your, your um, vibration and helps you connect with spirit. This is my excuse for why I'm laughing, so I can be connected <laughs> with my third time crown as I'm trying to connect into spirit because I'm not concentrating. I'm concentrating on the gorgeous hunch guy over there. It's concentrating on this study card. <laughs> yes, Kevin, I, I tried no when he was horrible. <laughs> So study. So we need to study the situation. Why has the world suddenly been engulfed in the coronavirus? There's a lot of conspiracy reasons going around and a lot of people are debunking it because if it's not the same belief as everyone else, you know, it can't be true. But, you know, in about 20 years time, the truth will come out. But <clears throat> this, you know. Yeah, sorry, don't, I don't even want to go there. But at the moment, um, there is so many conspiracy s stuff going out about the cons uh, the um, coronavirus, and it's caused by this, and it's caused by that, and you know, some people are saying this, and some people are saying that. So what you really need to do is actually, um, because what I've noticed, people put something on their Facebook, and they and or someone places something on your Facebook, that's automatically without reading it or checking the facts, just automatically likes and shares do, 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 do. because someone put something on and it was saying oh um sorry not i mean oh yes happy birthday to the queen your, your majesty maybe one day i'll get knighthood <laughs> and then she goes there all right sir julie <laughs> she'll be the one getting the head off <laughs> so happy birthday your majesty um <laughs> Talking about the royals, there was something going around and it said that um, Prince Charles had got the virus, the Queen had got the virus. I don't think so. Oh, and I know Prince Charles had the virus. Um, and then it said that um, Prince Charles was, sorry, Prince Andrew was a convicted paedophile. I mean, and then someone part go, oh, have you read all this news? And I'm just like, do you actually read what was inside this article? Because... There was so much, most of it was absolute gobbledygook, rubbish, made up stuff. And what it was doing was people were just liking sharing it. And I was thinking, please study each article um, because someone's been, I know right near the beginning, they put on their, their um, Facebook page um, a BBC news story about Russian ships being escorted through the um, English Channel. 
Okay. Now, I think a lot of people put things like that because they want to scaremonger and frighten people and make a statement and things. And and it's just like I looked into it and actually that was from about four years ago. <laughs> I want every... Yeah, wrong queen. I prefer that queen, though. Freddie Mercury. <laughs> um, rocks. Um, and it was an article from about... Twen uh, 2018 or uh, 17 or something it was years old it was really really old thing but someone put it on their page and it looked like it was actually happening now because if they'd gone into it and read it properly they would realize the date of the actual original article and so it's full and that sort of thing is passing false information and scaremongering because if someone else saw that because when i first saw it you go what are the russians doing in the english channel so I thought, well, I'll read into it. And then I noticed the date of it. So I actually put back on that person's comment. I said, do you know how old this is? This is really, really old. And stop. And so please stop posting things and scaremongering. So putting a post on, oh, the Russians have got, uh, being, they've got seven ships, warships being escorted through the English Channel or other things like that. Please, please, please. Number one, don't do that because it's the wrong sort of posting. You need to post positive ones. And number two, check your information and your dates and things like that. So study, this is why it's study. And then whenever you see anything, people are putting up, oh, this will cure the coronavirus, or this will do this and this. Please remember to study first. This is what it's about. And before, you know, you read a headline, it's catching headline, headline. And it's the idea is they put this scaremongering headline up um, to catch your attention. And then you go, oh God, what's that? And but you need to study it and study the truth and look into the truth. And then if it is true and you can quantify the um, information within the article and you check that it's new news, um, it's not even though it comes from the BBC website, you know, BBC News 24, make sure that it's not information that's years and years and years old, you know, because someone put on something about, oh, this is happening. Did you see this fire that's going on in a place? And it's like, uh this fire happened years ago <laughs> sort of thing so again check your dates and your information so that's why the study study is there but also the other positive thing is have a study of the earth and what's going on mother earth because we're having a break now look how clear the canals are in in um in 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 um in venice you know, so study the effects of all the humans not billowing out um, rubbish and look how much the earth is healing. That's what you need to look into. So you can actually see all the harm the humans have done. Yes, I'm human. I've done harm. But now have a study and see now we've stopped what's happening. OK, so like look how clear the, the um, canals are in, in, in Venice. Look how clear the Himalayas are. It's been a long time that since anyone's been able to see the Himalayas. Um, look how clear and um, the air is in India in some of the big cities. Um, you know, and, and the uh, the ozone area uh, in the the atmosphere is. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kevin. But like I said, it was the article. It was like they were printing it as if it was happening now. But it wasn't. It was news from about six years ago. So that's what I'm, I'm getting at. Watch your news. So, um, the, yes, apparently the ozone area is beginning to heal because there's not, not so much pollution coming up. The only thing I haven't heard of, and Holly might be able to put me um, in the right thing, because um, while we're not here, no one's concentrating on the de devastation of the Amazon forest. And I don't know how to find out whether they're still carrying on doing that while we're all mixed up with this coronavirus um, and that they're still carrying on cutting down the, the Amazon forest, the rainforest, which is so wrong, um, that um, I don't know whether they, they're still doing that and getting away with it. And of course, it's quiet. Um, yes, the sounds of nature. Yes. Have you noticed you open your window and you can hear the birds? I've never heard so many birds for so long. I mean, I used to go out and I can't hear any birds. Um, and also people managing to look at the sky because there's the um, the meteor showers and stuff going on at the moment. Yeah. Um, and the, apparently the skies are clear now 
because there's no so it's not so much pollution that you can actually see see the meteorites or the meteor shower um mother earth is healing um i know there was that great fire in australia um but you know sometimes we have to have a fire because out of the fire you know everything burns down you've got all the ashes and it adds nutrients to mother earth and then all the things that are now growing up from all the trees and plants that died in the fire but their bodies have been transmuted into nutrients and fertilizer and ash is very good to go on your not too much but you know if you've got any ash and you put it on your on your um gardens not that i've got a garden because i live in a first floor flat <laughs> um and so your plants will grow so everything is now starting to grow up in 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 australia so of course yes it is devastating when you get these great fires but mother earth works in an amazing way i mean look at all the islands i mean you can correct me if i'm wrong um but you can do the study um the hawaiian islands are made up of um volcanic so it's like volcanoes erupting out of the sea and the lava has now created the wonderful islands of um hawaii and you've got all the lush vegetation so out of the lava which mother nature blew up with the the, the mountains of um of mountains that exploded so i'm not very good at explaining this um but look what's so beautiful over in hawaii so have a study of how this shutdown is helping us also have a yes it's so clear at night kevin it's brilliant um the other thing is have a study is how this is affecting your own life you know have you realized that you know all the time you work nine to five monday to friday and all these extra hours you've put in and the idea is well, i'm working to have a home and now you're being able to spend time i mean you're complaining so <laughs> and also it's a time to study go well, actually you know i hated that job this is not fulfilling it's not working for my heart because I keep saying every day, please work from your heart centre, not your ego brain. We now have to transmute ourselves and raise our vibration and work from our heart area and sending love and light to everyone. Um, I was talking about somewhere, was it yesterday about the light workers? I can't remember now. That's Joey. My short term memory is really bad at the moment, people. So, um, yeah, I'm really suffering. But that's my problem, not your problem. <laughs> and maybe it's time I had another MRI, which the consultants can study to see what's going on in my brain, which is not a lot. <laughs> Seems like the only action that's going on in there at the moment is Joey. So, <laughs> so it's a chance. To... <laughs> Hi, Stacey. And <laughs> Julie, Julie, Julie. <laughs> Hello, darling. Fiance, not girlfriend. <laughs> oh have you had the um sock yet has the sock <laughs> so yes so now's a chance to have a study of your life what really fits comfortable with you what doesn't sit comfortable with you what <laughs> what do you want to change because now the time you're stuck inside now's the time to have a study and think of life Hey, 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 yeah. So this study card, and at the end of it, there's a beautiful rainbow. It's going to be at the end of this quiet time where we're taking time to study. You can go within and study your heart, study, read books, whatever you fancy. Maybe study. Um, Nana is us, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Hello, Logan. My two beautiful grandsons. I love Ollie and love Logan. Oh, God, you know, they're growing so rapidly in the few weeks that I haven't seen them. Um, and I'm missing them. I'm Stacey, bless her cotton socks. Keep sending me photographs and little lives of them sitting in the garden, in the paddling pool and stuff. So, which, which only makes me upset. But no, I'm loving it. Thank you, Stacey. <laughs> oh, I can't believe the sock. That's been over. Henry's sitting next to me, but he said he can't say hi. He's not. I know Henry's not talking to me. Maybe when he gets the sock, he might start talking to me because I've embarrassed him so much. And then he'll start talking to me, and then I'll start telling stories about Henry when he's a little boy and really embarrass him. <laughs> I love you all. Miss you so much. Hi, Henry. This is two or four of you. Um, 
So, yes, have a little study. I mean, what I was doing, this is talking about Stacey and Henry and their things, is because I'm, I'm actually looking, because I was saying, oh, there might be eight of us going, if we, I was actually looking to see where we could stay, whether to hire a villa or come to a hotel, which is the cheapest way to do it. Because, because as you know, I'm missing Disney. Slurp of Dis T Disney. So yes, so that's your card for the collective. What do you need to study? Okay. <laughs> I was only going to do a short talk today. It's been forty-five minutes. It wasn't as long as the other day, which was an hour and fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't completely bad. So thank you everyone for joining me. It's been great <laughs> for all joining in the messages. So just a quick serious. Oh. It's just ended on me. Oh no. I don't know whether you've got this, but it's just died on me. So I'm just going to say. I don't know if anyone sees me, but six o'clock Reiki Teddy tonight um, and 7.30 Angel Readings. Um, so I see you all later because my screen's gone. So I don't know whether you're there. So I'm going to say bye. Love you all. Bye.